So here's how to do those quick and easy math puzzles. So let's take 143, for instance, times 35. So first I'm going to take my multiplier and I'm going to count it down along this side. So let's say I randomly start here. I'm going to count one, two, three squares, put three. One, two, three, four, five. You go in the order of the number, three and five. So now we count out our multiplicand. So we have three units, start at the corner, one, two, three. We have four tens, one, two, three, four. And we have 100. There we go. So now we're simply going to draw the axis for our graph. And we're going to start filling in our colors according to what we've assigned. So on the editorial, we said we were going to do our units in green. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to count in from the three all the way up to here and here. We're going to fill in this area in green. You can count, color each square individually if you'd like. coloring in where our multiplicand, or our multiplier, sorry, not multi multiplicand is. And because the three here in your multiplier is actually in the tens family, we're going to use the blue. So we're going to start with blue, and again, we're going to fill in three across and three up. Okay, now we're going to go over to the multiplicand, and here the 4 in 143 belongs to, of course, the tens family, so we're going to use our tens color, which is the blue. And again, let's color in 4 across, and then 5. And now we're going to use, right here, we're going to fill in the 1 in 143, and we know that the 1 is part part of the 100 family, which means we use our red pencil, and so we're going to count one square across and five squares up. Okay, we're going to finish filling in for the multiplier, and so after the tens is the hundreds, and again, so now we will do uh, four across this way and three up with our hundreds color. So here we go. And finally, we're going to finish off with, um, after the hundreds come thousands, so we're in our units of thousands, so we're going to use this green and color one, two, and three squares, and we're finished coloring. Now, we have the fun part of counting the squares that each color has made, and with base 10 math, we're going to count how many squares we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And those of us who can multiply three times five, we know that that's exactly what we should have, fifteen squares. Now, of course, because this is a unit, we would do fifteen times one, which is essentially fifteen. Now we're going to count in the next row of squares. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Again, if you can multiply 4 times 5 quickly, you know that the answer is 20. So we have 20, but here we are multiplying by the value of 10, because that is the color that we have assigned is blue for 10. Now, if we use our magic zero trick, we know that 2 times 1 is 2, and we count two zeros, we add them at the end, that is 200. 5 is 5, that's what we should have, but it's 5 times 100. And we know that the answer to that, 1 times 5 and 1, 2, 0, is 500. So, so far we have 500 plus 200 plus 15. 
Now let's figure out what's going on up here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares because three times three equals nine. And we're multiplying by the color value of 10. And we know that nine times one is nine, add a zero at the end, and we have a value of 90. Now let's multiply this section, or count this section here rather. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, because three times four is twelve. We're multiplying it by one hundred. Red is one hundred. We know that one times one is one. One times two is two. We have two zeros, one, two. That is a value of 1,200. That's a big one. Now we're going to count over here. One, two, three, because one times three is three. But this is multiplied by 1,000. So the answer here is 3,000. Then we quite simply take all of these values. So 3,000 plus 1,200 plus 90 plus 500 plus 200, notice how we're making sure that everything aligns properly, plus 15. We will add that all up. Okay, so you can do this with a calculator if you prefer, or you can do it manually. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 9 plus 1 is 10, carry over. And we have 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry over. 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 5. Let's verify that in our calculator. 143 times 35 equals 5,005. So we got it correctly. It takes a lot longer to do it this way, but it's kind of fun to break it down, see the pattern, and have a little fun coloring at the same time.